Welcome back Guardians, my name is Atheon. In today's video we will be looking at and reviewing the Doom of Chalchis Legendary Scout Rifle which you can get awarded by defeating Oryx in the King's Fall Raid. Now we'll look at this in PvE and in PvP. Starting off we're going to look at the different perks this weapon has. Now all the raid weapons will come with Cocoon. This means when your weapon is stowed for a short period of time it will then be reloaded for you. Very helpful perk, very cool. We then have a few perks in the middle row, lightweight, things like that, but the one I would recommend is small bore because you need that stability. It will take your magazine size down by two, but small bore is what I would highly recommend for this. I got very lucky and got full auto with my scout rifle. The perks on the scout rifle can change in this end slot, but full auto in my opinion is probably the best one. Although it isn't necessary because this isn't a fast firing scout rifle so you can manually fire it just as quickly. There's no worry there. And also this weapon comes with will of light. All the raid weapons come with will of light which deal extra damage to take an enemy. So that's very useful. Helps out quite a lot. And we're going to see all of these perks in effect. But let's start off with looking at the weapon's stability. So the stability on this weapon appears quite low for a scout rifle in my opinion when you actually look at the stats. But when you're using it and firing it, the stability is quite nice to be honest. This is with small bore equipped to get the most out of the stability. And I've also got to mention the sights on this thing do make it a lot easier to get those headshots away. They are very nice sights, I really enjoy using them. And the stability for me personally for this weapon is fine and more than enough. Now, Will of Light will let us do extra damage to taken enemies. So these are some normal Acolytes. We're hitting 2,799 for a critical. So that's on normal enemies. Quite a decent damage output there for a Scout Rifle. But let's move on now to some taken enemies. And as you can see on the taken, we're hitting over 3,000 damage. That's on Acolytes. That's on Knights, as you'll see in a moment. And this is going to be very helpful. There's a lot of missions, a lot of strikes where take and turn up. And also in the raid, particularly the Oryx fight when you are trying to be on ad control or take out the Ogre, things like that. So, very useful there. Next we have Cocoon. Now, at first I tried to count four seconds, maybe my counting's off. As you can see, the ammo hasn't reloaded there. I tried again, counted to five seconds this time. And as you will see when I switch back, the ammo is reloaded. So that is an amazing perk to have. Now, PvP. I would not recommend this gun for PvP yet. I'm having a lot of fun with it in PvP. But I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of assists with it. The fire rate isn't quick enough to sometimes get the kills. So people are taking more kills. It's always good to assist. But the weapon is amazingly powerful. You're hitting 63 on a critical with it. So if you are accurate, you can get a lot of kills with this weapon. Having said that though, I did get a lot more assists with it than I did kills. I did get a few kills with it and I was very happy with it. But there was a lot of moments like there when the guy gets away. Where I just felt like I needed to get the kill and I should have got the kill. So at the moment, this might not be the best weapon for PvP as there are better ones out there. But for PvE, this is an amazing weapon. It's so good against Taken, and I highly recommend it. I hope you guys get it, as it is a lot of fun to use. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more daily Destiny videos, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will cover more raid weapons as I get them. I have a few stashed away for another video soon. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.